Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's How to Hack the Nintendo Wii Part 9. Today I'm going to show you how to play and install GameCube ROMs. So, just like with the Nintendo Wii games, you're going to need an external hard drive. Use the same one you used for the Wii games. You're also going to need your 16 or 32 gigabyte SD card that is common, that is standard for every single Nintendo Wii hack that we've done so far. If you've missed out on any of the, the videos that I've done, I highly suggest you go back and look because there are some programs that I've installed that are necessary in order for your Nintendo GameCube games to work. Having said that, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and download this program called Nintendoont. So when you're in this website, go to the green download button in the top right here and click it. It'll download a zip folder. Don't worry about the ad that pops up. Go to your zip folder, extract it, Go inside the folder and you'll see this Nintendo folder with a bunch of files in it. So you're going to cut the secondary Nintendo folder. You're going to go to your SD card, go into the apps folder and just paste it in there. At this point, make sure that your external hard drive is also connected to your computer because now we're going to look at putting games in here. So here's my external hard drive. Here's my WBFS folder that we used previously to put Nintendo Wii games on. And here's where we're going to put GameCube games. So I have a folder titled Games here. Make sure you do the exact same thing. Make it titled Games. In the Games folder is where you're going to put your actual games. You can name these whatever you want, these folders. What's important is that the games inside the folders are named Game. Every single one of them is going to be named that. So it doesn't matter what your folder name is, the actual game itself has to be titled Game. This is the only way that your Nintendo Wii is going to pick up on it. So once you've done that, you have all that done properly, let's head over to the Wii. Once your Wii is started up, go into the Homebrew channel. Click on Start. And in here, you're going to see a new option called Nintendo. So once this loads up and you see Nintendo, go to Nintendo, click A on your controller, click A to load. Here it's asking you where to find your games. I put them on a external hard drive, a USB, so that's where I'm going to click. Here are the games that I added. As you can see, the Nintendo Wii has discovered them. From here, I want to press B to go into my settings. Then I want to press X to update. It'll bring me to this menu where I'm going to click on Download Nintendo. This is going to update the version of Nintendo that you have on your Wii system. So just click on this and wait. Once that's done, it will ask you to restart your system. We don't want to do that yet. I want to download this controllers file as well. This is going to help you configure your controllers to play GameCube games on your Wii. So that's now done. And again, it's asking for a restart. Here I'm going to return to the menu, to the settings menu. And I want to change a few things here too. So meme card emulation, the default is off, but we want to turn that on. It needs to be on in order to get the GameCube games to work properly. After we've done that, we want to scroll down to the meme card blocks. The default is 251, but we're going to change that to 59. Again, this is necessary in order to get your GameCube games to work. Now I'm going to press the home button to exit, and I'm going to press it again to exit out of here. It's going to bring me back to this menu where I want to exit to the system menu. This is that reset that we're going to do that uh, it kept asking for. So go back into USB Loader GX, press start. It's finding the external hard drive. 
here it is with all my games and we want to change a few settings in here as well so go down to the little uh, gears symbol down here to the left and click on it once you're in here go into the loader settings and scroll down You can see there's a GameCube settings option, but uh, we don't have to worry about anything in there. We're gonna leave those, leave everything the way it is. We wanna keep scrolling down. Here are some Nintendo options, and we're gonna change some stuff in here. So memory card emulation default is individual. We want to turn that on. Once you have that on, scroll down. HID controller, turn that on. that's all you want to change in here so just hit the back button and it'll automatically save your changes hit back again and now I'm going to show you some actual gameplay so let's try Mario Kart Double Dash So it'll give you the option to save your progress. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to select no here. I just want to start a game. So to exit this game, I'm going to press reset on my system. It'll bring me back to this menu here. Where I'm now going to show you how to get some cover art. So you just click on that. All the boxes are checked. Hit yes. And it's going to find these, you know, the cover art from the internet. There's nothing you really have to do except wait. So that's what we're going to do. I've skipped through it. All the images have downloaded successfully. Let's have a look. There you go. WrestleMania, GameCube, look, all the GameCube ones are here. Let's go find uh, our Wii games as well. So here's all our games. You can change the settings up here if you want to make it look different. Uh, it's really up to you. You can you know, do it like this, but uh, again, it's up to you how you want it to look. All the games are here though. This is a good view. That's it for this video. The next video, I'm gonna show you how to do N64 games. Until then, thanks for watching.